Welcome back to the shop, everybody. Got a little bit of a different backdrop here. Built this uh, shelf, shelves, out of uh, some three quarter inch plywood I had sitting around to hold some of the cool rocks that people send me. Uh, I do wanna maybe add some LED lights, light strips aiming in to uh, really kind of showcase it. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. We are going to clean some rocks. Well, more specifically, we're going to clean some petrified wood limb casts that we got up at Saddle Mountain. And we're going to be doing that with some muriatic acid. Uh, I'll kind of explain this a little bit. First off, um, if you look online on how to clean rocks, there's a lot of advice. And a lot of it is not good. And it essentially boils down to using some form of acid, usually a mild acid like vinegar. Um, I've seen people suggest different bathroom cleaners that have acid in it, iron out, things of that nature. And it does work to a degree. Um, you know, the, the ones that always pop up is distilled white vinegar uh, for cleaning your rocks. And essentially that acid will eat away at really soft mineralization and loosen things up, break things up. Whereas much harder things like, you know, uh, Mohs scale five and above, it doesn't really affect. So uh, if you have no idea what we're going to be doing, um, I got these little limb casts right here. They're going to go in the glass. We're going to add the acid let it sit. It's going to eat all of this calcite off of it and we'll be able to see what we really have. And then we're going to have baking soda water in a bucket and that's going to be the neutralizer. Um, you know, we'll soak these in the baking soda water and also you, you want to have baking soda water ready for when, when or if you splash the acid on yourself. It's a way of neutralizing it. Um, normally I have a safety third attitude towards things, but this is definitely something that you're going to want to wear a glove for. Technically, this stuff is safe for your skin, but if you're like me and you work with your hands, uh, you will certainly find every little nick and cut on your skin with uh, muriatic acid. So uh, oh, also, uh, this is something that needs to be done outside. Um, when you start cooking off minerals with acid it releases gases you don't want to do that in an enclosed space so uh that said we will set this up outside and get to cooking i want these fully submerged it's pretty good I think I got any on my glove, but safe side, rinse it off in that baking soda water. It's a little windy out here today, but normally you'd be able to see the gases coming off of it, which is pretty cool. So the reaction's pretty much done now. It's been about two and a half hours. You can kind of see a bunch of loose stuff on it, and you can see in the bottom everything that came off that's pretty cool so the next step is to put them in the baking soda water neutralize it and that's where we're going to be soaking them for a while and then we'll neutralize all of the acid as well it's pretty cool Well, I think that came out quite well. You can see the two main pieces that I did. The definition in it is really visible now. Um, really looks like a piece of wood. You can see uh, lines in the bark. They're very happy with it. This one as well. Getting all that calcium carbonate off of there was a good call for these pieces. And uh, since I still had some acid sitting out and used, I threw some other pieces in it. So no before, but trust me, these were all gunked up with calcite. Um, that little nice little piece right there. 
The little tiny limb casts, which I, I like. I like these little guys. They're cute. Um, this one as well. That's kind of a cool piece. Well, um, that, that's about that. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. Um, if you found this video to be informative, if you learned something, please hit the like button and subscribe for future rock-related content like this.